Hey, what's going on, world? It's your boy, Boom. Back at it again for This Is 50, man. We got a very special guest today, man. He got a huge fight coming up this weekend. We got the unified welterweight champ, Earl Spence Jr. in the building, man. How you feeling? How you feeling? Man, feeling great, blessed, ready to go, man. Two days away from, show, from showtime. Facts, facts, facts. And I know you are looking at the fight week preview, you know, you're fully focused and ready for this fight for your, I mean, people call it a comeback fight, but it's not a comeback fight for you. You're definitely going to show out. But one thing I want to ask you, man, about your showmanship, man, you always made sure to represent Dallas with your show or with your entrance. And I don't know if uh, COVID might hinder you from having a performer come out this time, but if it, if it does, I want to know who's, who do you plan to come out to as a Dallas artist? Uh, this time I'm not coming out with a with a Dallas artist. I mean, I could have, but you know, I decided not to. So, you know, I'm not gonna come out with anybody this time. Just go around. You have a song that you plan to come out to? Uh, I don't know yet. Facts, facts, facts. I'm I'm still I'm still going through. No doubt, no doubt. And then speaking of Dallas hip hops and the importance that you have with it, uh, what did you what were you listening to during training camp? Um, for me, I, I listen to, you know, basically, you know, everybody, even though I don't re listen to a lot of music and I let my coach control it and he usually listen to jazz and everything like that. But for me, when I'm running, I listen to like Yellow Beezy, Lil Baby and, uh, you know, those type of artists. So I listen to pretty much everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations. Our congratulations on your newborn as well, man. Um, how what is this fight gonna mean for you as far as uh, having a newborn? Um, for me, it's just more motivation, you know, having this newborn and um, this fight for me just gonna mean everything, you know, coming off my long layoff and everything that I've been through, and you know, just having my kid and you know, my two other, my two daughters and just everybody supporting me and fighting at home is gonna mean a lot to me. No doubt, no doubt. Well, we definitely know you're gonna show out uh, for this occasion, man. But um, how do you feel about, uh, I would say the, the backlash that you received going into this fight, people sitting there doubting you so much when it I mean, you had a long layoff to easily prepare or get back to this health and prepare. So how do you feel about people just really doubting you? Um, I mean, it's expected. I mean, I doubt myself too if, you know, if, if I was on the outside looking in and I was seeing a car accident and other things, you know, prior, I would have been like, man, he ain't coming back the same. So it's for me to just make sure everybody tuning in on Fox Per Review and I put on a great performance. No doubt, as we, show, as we, as we will, man. For, uh, like like I said, man, congratulations on the rehabilitation. Look forward to your fight. Uh, definitely rooting for you, man, because you're the truth. And definitely feels good not being the boogeyman no more and being the man. So, like I said, everybody, this is Earl Spence Jr., man. Make sure you check him out Saturday, December 5th, or this Saturday at that when he takes on Danny Garcia, man. Hey, this is 50. We out of here. Peace.